Hello all, I, Ms. Pradhna Bormane, Assistant Professor in the Department of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science of ASSMS IOT Pool. Welcome you all. Today, we are going to discuss about the distributed system, its introduction, distributed computing and some of the characteristics. So to start with the introduction part, what exactly is distributed system? So it is defined by Andreas Tannenbaum in the uh, in his book of distributed system. A distributed system is collection of autonomous computing elements that appears to its user as a single coherent system. So what we are saying is autonomous computing element means. So autonomous computing elements we can say as a nodes. They can be hardware or uh, devices or uh, software processes. What single coherent system means? We can say the users or applications perceiving a single system or we can say the nodes which are need to collaborate. Next, we'll see what exactly the distributed computing means. Distributed computing refers to use of multiple interconnected computers or processors that work together to solve complex problem or perform task. So we are seeing the two different definitions. One is of a distributed system, another is a distributed computing. Then we'll just list out the, some of the characteristics. One we have is the concurrency, fault tolerance, scalability, transparency, heterogeneity, consistency and replication, interprocess communication, load balancing, security and all. Now, next we will see the different types of distributed system. So we have, we all know about the, what is client server architecture. This is one type of distributed system. Another we have peer to peer systems. Uh, we have grid computing, we have cloud computing. Other we have is the cluster systems. Then we have distributed databases. We have middleware based systems with respect to the networks, say, say sensor networks, mobile ad hoc networks and so on. So these are some of the types of a distributed system. So first we have uh, is the client server. So as we know that there is a client who requests a service or a resource from servers. And the server respond to those requests which are received from client and this communication occurs between the client and server architecture. So that is client server architecture we have. Next we have is the peer to peer. So in peer to peer all nodes have equal status. So we can say uh, that the both uh, nodes act as a client and server. So in this case, uh, each node can share the resources or the services directly with one other with other nodes and the without need of centralized servers that is what we are saying is the peer-to-peer -peer. then we uh, have a grid computing in grid uh, it involves use of distributed resources from multiple networks to solve the complex problems it connects the 
geographically dispersed resources to form large uh, computers next we have is the cloud cloud computing distributes the computing resources over the internet uh, we uh, know or some of you must have know about uh, it is providing the services like storage it providing the storage providing the processing power and uh, applications like on a pay as you go or pay as per use are, are like that uh, the cloud computing works another we have is the distributed databases so this distributed database uh, store uh, data across multiple nodes uh, which uh, by which we are getting uh, the improved scalability performance and we can write the examples of MongoDB and all so these are the uh, types of uh, distributed system thank you